Hello and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to create this saddle bracket that you see here. And we're actually going to create it from this side profile. Here's where we're going to start. And like always, if you guys find these videos helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to go to my home page, open up a new part. This part will be in inches, and the default is already in inches, which is why I don't have to mess around with it too much. I'm going to draw a 2D sketch on the vertical plane. And yes, that is the school bell. I am at school. So let's go ahead and go 4.5 inches across. Like I said, we're starting off with that side profile and we're going to go up 0.5 inches and we're going to come over here to this other side and we're going to go up 1.75 inches and also this side profile we're going to go 0.5 on this one Leg up here, we're going to go down a little bit, we're going to go up, and let me go ahead and tell you that I don't, I'm not putting dimensions on this just yet, but I will in a little bit here. So what you want to do is create this shape, then we're going to go ahead and dimension everything. So from here to this horizontal line is going to be 0.75 and then this one right here is also going to be 0.5 so let's go ahead and make that 0.5 spacing between the two exterior parts of these towers you can call them it's going to be two inches And that seems to be pretty much it. We're going to do one last thing here. You see there's this a little curve right there. So let's go ahead and curve that right now. Let's use the fillet command. Fillet command is up here. Next to rectangle. Click on the fillet command. And this fillet is going to be 0.25 inches. So 0.25. And then you select the two lines. That vertical line and this horizontal line. And it makes a fillet right there. Let's finish the sketch. And let's extrude this part 2.5 inches. Enter. You can see it's starting to take shape. Now we're going to create the big circle here. The way we're going to do that is we're going to use the fillet command. And we're going to go to this last option the full round fillet it says telling us to select our side face it's gonna be this side right here the center face is going to be this one and side two we're gonna to need to rotate our object to this other side here it's gonna be side two and you can see it creates a nice fill a nice round fillet there so apply get out of this Okay, Oops. go to home. There you go. Now we're missing, if you remember back over here, now we're missing the circle. So let's go ahead and do that hole. Go to the hole command. Hit on this little drop down menu. Press concentric. Now it's asking you to select the plane. The plane is going to be this plane right here. Now it's asking you to do the concentric reference. It's concentric with respect to what other circle. Let's go ahead and click this circle right here. And it lines it up right in the middle. The diameter for this circle, this hole, is going to be one inch. And everything else, let me go ahead and go back to that one more time. Everything else is okay. 
reason why is because we extruded this hole far enough where it's not going to impede anything else down below. But if you really wanted to, you could do a flat drill point. Right for this case, we're just going to try to keep it simple. We'll press OK. And we're almost done. We're just missing this right here. So we're, now we're going to go to the back phase. Start a 2D sketch on this back phase. First of all, I'm going to project this geometry so I can have this reference. As you see, now I have yellow lines indicating that reference shape. I'm going to go across 0.5 inches. I'm going to come down 0.75 inches. So same thing, I'm going to go ahead and dimension this. Not the whole thing, just this line here. Oh, we might need to delete this line. There you go. Let's go ahead and dimension this line right here. Oops. Okay. Let's see, why is it not letting me do this? That's okay. We'll just work our way around it. Go ahead and delete this. Try it one more time from a different way. So we're going to go 0.5 inches this way. Enter. And come down 0.75 inches. And we're just going to go ahead and connect these two lines here. And let me just project geometry one more time to ensure I have that. Okay, so finish sketch. Now I'm going to extrude this box right there, and it's going to be an extrude cut. The second option is a cut option, which allows me to cut my object. Press OK. There's our saddle bracket. All you want to do now is select a color that you like. You'll be done with this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, Feel free to comment down below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you and have a wonderful day.